Hey, what is up, the Freaks of Pokemon? I am Ricky, and uh, I am one of the directors, as you could call it, of this channel. And let me take a little while to explain myself. Um, oh, sorry about that. Um, I am Ricky, and then I, I remember you guys like saw me a couple times, like in the first video or like first couple. But um, anyways, um, I know you guys usually see Jerry's face because like. I said I was going to upload only with Ace Card, but as you can tell, this is like no Ace Card crap version. You know, like Pokemon shit. But whatever. Um, I still haven't attempted to receive an Ace Card, maybe because I haven't had any money. But anyways, um, I do competitive Wi-Fi battles. Um, as you can see, the tier, my tier of choice, or my tier that I prefer, would be the OU tier. Because it's, I guess it's like the easiest and like the most common you can find. Since it is like overused Pokemon. But anyways, um, I think that's a little brief description of who I am. If you have more questions, you can just I'll just like talk about more of my stuff in the ending. But any, anyways, let's get straight to the teams. Uh, as you can see, I do have an OU team. Pretty OU-ish stuff. You know, but then again, these are like the bottom of the barrel OUs. Well, at least some of these are. Uh, Virigion, I do not see often. Neither do I see Latios often, even though Latios is like overpowered. But hey, whatever, there's not much I can do about it. But as for his team, he kind of has a rain. Team, kind of. Well, I think the rain was introduced because of the fact that two of his pokes are weak to the fire, and which he, I guess he didn't like that because the uh, fire is found common in the OU tier. But anyways, um, by leads, uh, the most easy, the most predictable lead for me on my side would have to be either the Heatran or the uh, the uh, Scizor. As for him, the Hollytoad would be the best lead. Hell, even Lucario. Uh, anyways, let's get straight to our battle. But as you can see, he actually leads off with the Arcanine. I'm, I'm guessing he was kind of predicting my uh, Scizor's lead or something because, uh, well, I guess it is not. Well, I guess it's not like uh, too common that you leave with Arcanine, you know, unless you're choice. Then again, you can then U turn a full switch, so why would you even do that? But, anyways, as you can tell, he has the U turn. That U turn threw me off quite a bit, actually, in the battle. As you can see, well, not really, didn't throw me much off, but now I'm just kind of scout, scout around it. I was guessing this is especially, you know. Especially oriented arcane for some reason, but as you can see, he uses the flare blitz here, and I'm starting to believe uh, it's kind of like, I guess I had a, a little bit of attack investments. So right here, I'm gonna switch on to my Lodios, knowing that he would either switch or he would um, decide to use a cold scum at, both of which my Lodios can take and uh, retaliate with. But as you can see, the he goes for the close combat, and right that right there tells me he's an offensive canine right there. And that I really have nothing to worry about because uh, the intimidate's there just to throw me off, I guess, which is a uh, Kind of like, I never really see that. But anyways, right here, he takes the time to switch out into his Scizor. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psychic here. Uh, I went for the Psychic one because I knew it would KO in two. In case he switched out into this thing. I at least stood some fighting chance. Like, in the chance of me getting a crit and, like, O-coing this thing. Because uh, usually, uh, Scizor's Pursuit Lock. And I'm guessing that's what he wanted to do. Because uh, if he was a... Uh, I guess if he was an SD Scizor, he would probably have bullet punched here. But whatever, I'm guessing he used the Pursuit just because of the fact that uh, he he thought I wanted to switch out, but that Psychic did way too much, so I was like, ah, just stay in. But anyways, um, he takes the advantage, uh, advantage of the situation and pulls out his Garchomp. Now that right there tells me, that started telling me that he might be a Choice Scarf Garchomp a variant, because um, you really don't see a Garchomp against a Latios unless you can outspeed it, because if not, the Latios can pretty much retaliate and like, fuck your shit up. But anyways, uh... He switches out here, which continues telling me that he's choice, because uh, if he wasn't choice, he would probably have gone for a Fire Fang or a Stone Edge, or even set up a Swords Dance, while I set up my, you know, my Spikes, or whatever I wanted to do. But anyways, uh, as he, I catch him on the Switch, and I go ahead and go for the Spikes here, uh, you know, just try to do some standard ou -ish stuff, set up some Hazards, that way I can get him, you know, that way I can just limit his, uh, his uh, switching, but right here, I thought it would be too obvious to switch back onto the Heatran, because of the uh, predicting the Fire move, so I decided to stay in. Uh, and chance that he might go into the close combat, and he does actually, which is kind of a good thing because uh, I actually don't go for the Brave Bird here, which I probably should have now that I look back on it. But then again, he does have the Intimidate drop. Um, I actually go for another layer of spikes here, and now right here, I guess it's where I start getting a bit cocky because um, I actually switch on to Heatran predicting the fire move. Um, I was predicting him to predict me to stay in. Um, overall, that was I, I did it correctly, but it's kind of like he kind of did the better play and he went for the wild charge not for the flare blitz which I think it, my scrum could have barely lived but um, it hit, also hits everything else on my team 
and especially this uh, Heatran, which is a pretty much a big threat, and like unless Polito is not introduced yet. But right here, uh, again, I get cocky, and I, I believe, like I started believing I could probably live a close combat, and uh, after a while, it became clear to me, and I became Earthbound that I could not live a close combat to the phase, and <laughs> I just die. So you know, Heatran pretty much did what he had. Well, he didn't do much. He just like pretty much just started scaring everybody. But uh, anyways, uh, I switch out to my Latios here. Um, again, because I know Latios could uh, retaliate with a Draco and or a Psychic. And I knew that would... But right here, he goes for the Extreme Speed, which in the first place, he should have gone for it. But then again, I think he wanted to preserve his Arcanine until the fall of Heatran, because I know Heatran was a pretty big, th pretty big threat. But that also should tell you that he wanted to deal with... Uh, Arcanine wanted to deal with Heatran, meaning that his Polytoad isn't probably choice. That should be another thing that stands out to you. But anyways, I'm lecturing about the teams. Um, I, I fire off a Draco as he fires off the extreme speed. And I'm at minus 2. And uh, I do have 42 health. So, you know, I kind of should have just sacked this Latios. But I, I, I don't know. I just saw some, like, potential in him still. You know, while lock, knocking out this Lucario. So I switch out into my Scizor because... Uh, let me, let's get this straight. The, uh, the extreme speed was a bit too obvious. Because, like, Latios is a big threat. And, like, he's about to die. And like I had a minus two, so you know how, how else to deal with Latios? You know, instead of uh, how else to deal with Latios? I'm sorry about that. But anyways, uh, he goes on to the Polytoad right here. I was debating whether he would switch on to the Polytoad because uh, I was thinking about going for the U-turn or going for the Superpower. I wasn't really sure. Um, the more tactical play would have been the for the Superpower. The more tactical play would have been the um, U-turn here. That way I could have gotten uh, some momentum going here. But uh, like I said, I started getting a bit arrogant. And I, I kind of just predicted him to predict me to over predict. <laughs> kind of a lot to follow. But um but he doesn't he just switch he just goes straight out to the polytoad, but that leftover is right there tells me confirms my suspicion that this polytoad isn't choice. He's like actually life uh life formed. Uh leftovers. So here so that pretty much tells me that uh my version's okay to go in because I know I could take an ice beam from this thing, probably two. But anyways, um right here I go into Verision because uh Verision can take the hits really well and um also, whatever you want, like, actually, actually that's the normal reason why, because I can take the hits. And I could probably set up calm mines all over his face. But right here, I decide not to, like, try to get arrogant or anything, and I go f straight for the focus blast, not trying to play any games whatsoever with around with this thing. And I do end up taking it out, thank God. And here I'm gonna... And here he goes out to the guard chomp. I wasn't really sure whether to stay in or switch out. So at this point, I had my mindset that I'm going to sack my version and whatever he locks himself into, I can just switch in from that. But as you can see, I, I went first, kind of like con uh, contradicting everything I said about this being choiced. And as you can tell, this thing had Yashi Berry, and that kind of caught me off guard too. But he, anyways, he lives a hidden power ice, and I am stuck with a... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Also, another thing, um, yeah, do I jump just use Swords Dance, right? That, that is illegal, first of all. Um... You should have used Swords Dance because a uh, Dragon Dance on Guard Champ is illegal. But the thing is, I wasn't really tripping out or I wasn't really complaining too much. I just told him that I was illegal, that he should take care of that because other people will get mad because I, I want to get mad because I have this Skarmory that checks this Scizor all day. You know, like you can make that Skarmory's job right here to Wall Scizor, all in that Scizor. Oh, I'm sorry, to Wall Guard Champ. You can make that um, Skarmory's job in there and he'll do it pretty well. Because uh, as you can see, he's taking the, these hits great, actually, spectacular, better than I expected him to, actually. However, that Sonic did do a bit more than I estimated it to. But then again, I did use the Roost, so it doesn't really matter. But um, like I said, uh, that's like about the only thing that I caught about this Garchomp that kind of stood out to me. But anyways, um, he goes for another Dragon Dance, I guess, predicting another Roost. But I'm going to go ahead and go for the Brave Bird here. Not, not wanting to play any games whatsoever because... Uh, I guess keep, uh, my continuous boosting would have been asking for a crit, <laughs> and I don't want a crit. Well, I don't want him to land a crit on me. So I just go straight for the bravery, and I just take this thing out. But anyways, um, I do take recoil and rough skin, which takes me down to about half. And after lefties, it'll be about above half, but uh, not really going to matter. He's going to go out into his elective eye here. Now here, I wasn't really sure if this was a physical or a special elective bar because uh, now nowadays in fifth gen, I do see these special elective bars with like flamethrower and like full switch and shit. So I go on to my version here, I guess predicting a thunder punch or a thunderbolt, whatever you know, the electric move. But actually, he actually thinks ahead of me and he goes for the uh, cross drop here, 
which is a, kind of a good play on his part because uh, it doesn't quite dig me out but then again it is like a, a decent amount because of the fact that Varishion is pretty frail on the physical side but anyway, here I go for a focus blast assuming that I would take him out one hit assuming because and also when I saw that I was like oh yeah dig him out but then again I saw the spec drop and I was like oh crap he barely hung on but right here he goes for an earthquake here which tells me this elective bar is um, physical so I'm over here I'm, I'm, everything that I was assuming was all wrong about this team except for the polytope possibly or and the uh, scissor but anyways um i go out to my scissor here now here this place th these couple of plays here could have been avoided uh, because of the fact that he could have stayed in and sacked his um elective hour because of the fact that uh as you can see he pulls out lucario because uh whatever move, whatever move i locked myself into whether it was a u-turn or whether it was the uh yeah whether it was it was the u-turn or any other move that uh he would have had a i guess prime initiative to whatever like choice move i was to with the um what do you call it uh with the scissor because if i had not if i had locked myself into the superpower he could have uh, taken me out with a close combat and you know start long story there but he actually decides to switch out which is kind of a questionable play there um i don't know why so i, I just go on to my dragonite here just gonna clean up the team uh, the team i'm sorry about that and i guess that is game right there because it's like about will die to the hazards um anyways um like I said, uh, that's it. That, that Garchomp set was illegal because Dragon Dance can't be run on Garchomp. But, um, like I said, th in this match it didn't really matter. But whatever. Anyways, that I know this narration wasn't too great. Then again, it wasn't. It didn't suck too bad. Um, but, as for questions, um, I have a couple of questions. Uh, question one is like, I, I, like I said, should I continue uploading here or should I not? Because if because it's perfectly fine if I if I cannot if you guys say like oh no we just like like we like Jerry better it's okay with that because um like I said I don't really mind because I have like another channel well I have like another set of channels as I can say and um I guess well that's it for question one I think for question two is, yeah should I upload again <laughs> I think I'm gonna ask the same questions until you guys pretty much understand the point but um this is an OU team brought to you by uh, me and uh, and if you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up and if you didn't dislike it and tell me why and until then i'll see you guys around uh.